five, four, three, two, uno. Hello, everybody. Yeah, uh, welcome back. <laughs> If you're listening to us on SoundCloud, you can watch us on YouTube or Facebook. If you're watching us on YouTube or Facebook, you can listen to us on the SoundCloud. Yeah. We're going to start things right off. Last week, we talked about uh, President bird like, flu in Germany. And new president was a United big States problem. Biden. Yeah, but everyone knows that, so why repeat like Go a parrot? Biden. But the old yeah. president still is thinking he's still gone. Yeah, but no one Go gives a shit about that. Yeah, exactly. But so we was talking about flu, bird flu, bird, bird flu. <laughs> yeah, in Germany. Remember how they had to kill like a lot of birds, a lot of chickens, a lot of birds. Yeah. All right. Now there's a new, Bur interesting outbreak in Denmark with uh with minks. Yes, I hear about that. Yeah. Yeah, if you don't know what a mink is, it looks like ferret. It's, yeah, it's basically a ferret. Yeah. All right. It says here the Danish government has admitted there was no legal bias for the mass killing of farmed mink in order it ordered after a mutated version of the coronavirus was found in the animals. Uh -huh. So basically what happened was the Dutch they were with their wooden shoes, you know, and on their bicycles having a meeting uh, by the river, wherever canal they have in Denmark. In, hole. in Denmark, you know, because they're Danish. Yeah, right? but they like be below the level of the sea. Are they below the level of the yeah. sea? Yeah. Yeah. This is only one country that's like in a hole. No. Yes. New Orleans is below sea level. That's why they got flooded back in the day. Yeah. Holland, it's really below the sea. Yeah, how low? Very low. <laughs> As hey, Google. Hey, Google. What's the sea level of Denmark? Here's information from World Atlas. All right. We have to read because the stupid fucking computer can't read it. Fucking bitch. Fucking computer. All right. It says there that the lowest level is minus 7 meters and the highest level is 171 meters for Denmark. Okay. Wow. That was information that I don't think anyone gave a shit about. Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> hey, Google. How uh, Holland is below the sea? Here's information from geology.com. Great. Seven meters below. I just said that. Laguna salad, ten meters below. Look, this all Who's countries. Who's having a Laguna salad? Laguna salada, ten meters below. Laguna. Netherlands, seven meters below. It's not so crazy. Yeah. Why did they teach me at school? Is really depression there? There's no depression. Doesn't. <laughs> They're depressed because they're all fucking seven foot tall riding bicycles with wooden shoes. That's why they're depressed. <laughs> <laughs> they, there's a reason why they have the legalized drugs in Denmark. Because the people are so boring and don't know what the fuck to do. They have to be all high all the time to have a good time. Because yeah, they hate each other. That's what I'm saying. Because they're, they, <laughs> they're, they're all like giant avatars that don't know what to do. <laughs> Yeah, so they go, we make weed cake, and we're going to put wooden shoes on and oh, dance, no. clogging around, you know? Oh, no. And then we're going to ride bicycles, because who the fuck... You know why they ride bicycles, too, in Denmark? Because they're so fucking tall, they can't fit in cars. <laughs> yeah, maybe they tall, but I never... <laughs> no, I have family in Holland. Denmark's filled with giants? Yeah, I said Holland. Yeah. Which is Denmark. Yeah, they're filled with giants. Yeah. They fucking... When do you hear them ever having any fun? <laughs> Never. The but only time they have fun is with the hooker strip, the red light district, or making marijuana legal through the whole place. Army Van Buren is from over there. A lot of DJs yeah. coming from there. And what does he do for hobby besides DJing? Do you know what he does be anything else besides DJing? No, he just shows up to work, goes home, and smokes weed. <laughs> Because that's what I Denmark know. does. They don't... They are just... And you know what's crazy, though? Now, they had that awesome meeting, the Danish freaks, okay? 
Danish is they were cookie. eating their weed cookies on the pe- on the nice you know boardwalk they have with the canal, and they're like, "Fuck, man, these little fucking ferrets, these minks have some mutated version of coronavirus." And then the other giants like, "What should we do?" And then he took off his wooden shoe, and then he scratched his foot, and he's like, "Let's fucking kill them all." <laughs> No, That's the solution no, to getting rid of a virus and animals. Separate. Let's just murder all of these minks for no reason. So it says here, it previously warned the if- infectionist of any future vaccine could be affected by the mutation. So they're worried that these minks, if they fucking bite you, and you had the vaccine, it would fuck with the vaccine, and then you would just end up with the fucking... Uh, with the Wuhan Weezer again, fucking in your lungs. Oh, so it's like a stronger. And just remember this, that what? Denmark is the world's biggest producer of mink fur. Okay? Its main export markets are China and Hong Kong. So what they do with these cute little furry ferrets... Oh, don't stop it, is stop it. ...in man. Denmark, because, you know, they're so high all the time with their wooden shoes. They're like, listen, the world got mad because... We were making jackets yeah. out of chinchillas. Then the world went ape shit. Yeah. We decided, okay, let's make them out of foxes. We'll fucking kill yeah. foxes. We'll make t-shirts out of foxes. No, that didn't work either. So they're like this. We have to pick an animal that no one gives a shit about. Period. No, that's a really and nice animal. No, this is an animal that literally... If you went up to a random person on the fucking street and you're like, tell me what a mink is... They would look at you and be like, what fucking uh, Cantonese are you speaking to me right now? Because I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Take it easy. Minka. So, <laughs> so, these Dutch people yeah. farm minks to make fuzzy hats out of them. Or socks. Or whatever they do. Winter jackets. No, they're going like a fur. But they see it's going to Hong Kong where the people don't care. Yeah, because they eat everything over there, so who cares? Yeah, well, Denmark is the world's biggest producer of mink. But I see this minks who's so nice and white and like puffy. Yeah, they're pure color, like cute ferrets. Yeah, and I'm like, oh my god, so nice, and you have to kill them. I, I should be like a spokesman for no killing animals anymore, special lobsters. Yeah, even though we just ate pork sandwiches, which were delicious. I didn't even know who I was into. <laughs> Those piggies were delicious in my mouthy. But that's the old piggies. Yeah. I'm a new piggies, I don't want to eat them. You don't want to eat them? Because you know, you, you, you should take care of all animals, they should leave. Yeah, how should they leave? <laughs> Safely. <laughs> Safely? What's the pig supposed to do? He's not going to get eaten. Yeah, they play in the mud. Woohoo! Okay. Wong, wong. <laughs> <laughs> Let's okay. walk our way down in the mud. Woohoo! Then, Roll down. Yeah. And snap, snap. Snap, snap, <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. And that's it. Let them jump. Let them jump. And, uh, yeah, let... jump off a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> let them go free. Oh, or you know what? They can swim on the island. Yeah, they could just swim and... You get... remember the Bahamas or something? They have the swimming pig. Yeah. So I can send them there. But those pigs had uh, hair. They had every insulation. Pig... No, yeah. every pig have little hair. Mm-hmm. If you're looking. But, uh, you know, one is like uh, yellowish, one is like... Uh... So why would they make, like, pig hats out of their hair? No, they don't should kill no animals. Fuck, we have so many products right now. We can do anything... Almost looking like everything grilled, so fuck it. Even the the meat, what you're eating, that meat, what Howard was saying? Beyond Meat. Beyond Meat. He said it's so good, it's ridiculous. I eat it in, uh, in Tim Horton, I think. So. Yeah, they have it. Oh my God, just threw through the window. That's why real meat, we have to eat the piggies. Cause they're I delicious. know, but there's beautiful creatures and you have to kill them. But it says here that the basically the mink massacre started late last month <coughs> after many mink cases were detected. This is weird. How the fuck do they figure out that these little white things had some kind of version of coronavirus? Oh, no, no. They, 
uh, every cycle, every farm have to do the blood test and everything. Okay. So then say, what the fuck is this? Look at this. What is that in the blood? And then they find out. They say. So it says here in quotes, even if we were in a rush, it should have been completely clear to us that new legislation was required and it was not. I apologize for that. The PM, Metti Fred Derickson. No, oh, listen. Told Parliament. Let's... So even the own government didn't even know its own laws because they eat so much uh, brownies in their space. Yeah, but space. Let, let me tell you a story. The, okay. How they find out means is to uh, have a the disease. Okay. So that was the guy going inside feed the minks. Okay. And he said, hey, kill, kill. <laughs> And the guy was so high, <laughs> yeah. he was like, hey, kitty, kitty. Yeah, and, see, and the mink like, mm-hmm. and like, what's going on, mink? Yeah. And, uh, 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 what? <laughs> why, why, why the mink uh, number 1077 for a coffin? Yeah. Let me see. What, you want brownies? Yeah, we have not. Hey, mink, how's it going? Are you playing or are you fucking really sick? Hey, hey. take your shit. Take your shit? Yeah, take the shit. Okay, you scoop the shit. Scoop the shit. Where is the Amma gown thing? <laughs> <laughs> Throw to my gown. He eat it. Okay, catch my gown. Oh, you're talking Ooh. about the pangolin? Pangolin, sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> take the pangolin. <laughs> Where do we do have pangolin? How much is on stock market today? <laughs> are we still selling? Yeah, on the black market. Okay, sell to your neighbor. Okay. Call your neighbor tomorrow. You get know? Change anything? Yeah. How you feel? <laughs> yeah. Coronavirus. He coughing too. So you think the Dutch got rid of COVID, trying to get rid of it by sending it to China and giving it to them instead? <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's happened. It yeah. was not. It was not. Uh, it was never bad. It was never bad. The <laughs> shit, mink, shit, mink shit, <laughs> in Pentagon. What did they use mink fur to make? Can we ask Google what they use mink fur to make? Like, what do they yes. make out of mink fur? Beautiful, like uh, coats. Coats or like yeah. hats or what yeah. do they hey. do? Hey, hey, Google. What do you make mink money? <laughs> According to Merriam-Webster, to earn money. To make a profit, the club made money by selling advertisements in the newsletter. Yeah, see? Advertisements in the newsletter. That's what we got to do. That's amazing. Where's our newsletter? Okay. <laughs> hey, Google. <laughs> I don't know. Something. Oh, totally. You ate that little piggy. He's going to come out. No, I think the mink fucking just <laughs> got the, 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 We're going to start calling it the mink. Victoria 19 to me. Victoria 19. It's a better... Uh, better Version on cover 19 called Victoria 19. Ah, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, you then you feel hot <laughs> and you have just bikini. Wow, Victoria 19. Yeah, yeah. So, what's going on? I want to know oh, what they make oh. fur out of for me. Look, you look like mink. Yeah, she is a hairy mink. Hey, <laughs> hey, Google, what do they use mink fur for? Condoms in my According to Wikipedia, the American mink's fur has been highly prized for use in clothing, with hunting giving way to farming. Their treatment on fur farms has been a focus of animal rights and animal welfare activism. So they would just make clothing out of uh, these little furry yeah, cute yeah, minks. Yeah, it's too bad. You know, fur. one fur, you have to have like 15 minks. 15 minks for you what? You know, you have to kill them so they're making. That's terrible. Who fucking figured out this shit? I want to look like Big Mink. But the funny thing is that, <laughs> that the Denmark politicians uh-huh. <laughs> literally every year do a call, which means like a massacre, basically, but that's their nice way of calling it a call. So they, they say they, no they, they so do that with chick, They do that with chickens all the time with bird flu. They'll just kill 500,000 chickens because of some bird flu outbreak them to them. every year. But like, uh, and then they know that law is there, the politicians, but then when they try to do it with the minks, the government freaks out and goes, oh fuck, we should change this law. 
We didn't know you can, that uh, farmers could just kill their product. And it's like, yeah, that's like if you work in a restaurant. No, but and the ro- creatures. Yeah, but the thing is, like, no. in the Denmark government's eyes, this is a product that's being exported to another country, and then they make X amount of income. Yeah, but that's a living creature. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. In their it's law, no. In their law, they have it oh. written in the books. You could farm them, and so you the can sell them. The the same like wood issues. Yeah, exactly. You could buy sell. it on the shelf, just yeah. like how people go buy pet dogs from the shelf. It's the same as buying lettuce from the grocery store. It's just a product on the shelf, and you want it because it's going to make you happy and why, satisfied. Why did you say lettuce? Why did I say lettuce? Yeah. Do you like to toast the salad? Is that what? <laughs> Why is lettuce in your... You give example lettuce. Because lettuce all the time has E. coli, e. coli outbreaks on... Salmonella. And E. coli outbreaks on lettuce. Where is the salmonella? Salmonella is what you get from fly shit from shitting on all your stuff. Not E. coli? It's shit poisoning. Yeah, but that's not going to... to lettuce? lettuce? No. If you... <laughs> If your fly came from washroom and go on the lettuce. That's why you have to wash your vegetables. I know, but if you should go on your lettuce. And shed on it. And she shed on it. Then you could get seven now. And E. coli. And E. coli. Time. At the same oh time, my yeah. god, it's double coming. But the thing is, like, lettuce all the time yeah. gets outbreaks with E. coli, whatever you said, salmonella. All yeah, the, yeah, yeah. All different viruses. They said that they catch it because they use the uh, bad water. How do you use bad water? That's what this water <laughs> has this E. coli inside, and then, then every lettuce eat this, and that was recall. Roma's lettuce and everything was recall. Yeah. Recall because the water <laughs> make them sick. Yeah, and then basically, like, as a government, for health regulations, you have to get rid of all the lettuce that was produced that day. Just like with the minks in Denmark. They're like, these are all sick. What about like the coronavirus uh, ten vaccination for minks? They're gonna make a vaccine for the minks? Yeah, in fact, why you have to kill so many? You know how many they killed? How many? Seventeen million. Minks? Minks. Imagine that. For four or for this no, disease? No, because they were in fear of holding the coronavirus. Oh my god, they should be prosecuted for this fucking... In Denmark, they decided we're gonna kill 17 million cute little furry minks. Why are you saying this sh- Can we have something nice? What? Fuck this Denmark. I'm just nonsense. saying, I want to prove a point that the all these... The were- over that there. Be- no. They kill everything. There's... The all- Nazis. All pull... <laughs> fucking Hitler what do you compared mean? to them was fucking angels. <laughs> He only killed 6 million Jews. They killed fucking 70 minks. Millions. Unbelievable. There are 6 countries that have reported coronavirus outbreaks at mink farms. The, <coughs> the Netherlands... What's going on with you today? Huh? Because I'm trying to, like, talk a lot because you're not talking. No, so I'm talking I'm trying, because I'm, I'm trying, trying to thinking, keep the conversation I'm, going I'm and you're just killing it nonstop. How I'm killing like, you're not continuing the conversation. Because I hate death. I can talk about... Wood. It's okay, I can't hear you either, but... Uh, what? See, now you don't get my joke, because you said death. Oh. You didn't say death, you said death. I said death? Yeah, and I said, oh, it's okay, I, don't, oh, <laughs> I can't hear you. Oh, I got it. Uh, yeah, but <laughs> six countries <laughs> have reported <laughs> coronavirus... <laughs> <laughs> what? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. So six. You can't hear me. <laughs> you hear me now? <laughs> oh shit. Okay. So seventeen, seven different countries. No six. <laughs> I can add another one. Netherlands, Denmark, Spain, Sweden, Italy, and the United States also farms these minks for fur products. That's terrible. And they killed a total of 17 million of them. And because uh, the virus that they found, mink are known to be susceptible to SARS-CoV-2, the virus that caused COVID-19, 
which can spread rapidly through from animal to animal in the conditions on mink farms where thousands of animals are kept in close proximity. Yeah, they're very close. But yeah, this is a crazy, crazy thing. That's sad. Fur farming is banned in the United Kingdom. I think that's the only country where fur farming is banned completely. Yeah, because there was like idiots over there before. All kings and everything have to have a nice fucking furs and everything. Eventually somebody smart say forget it. Yeah, so it's just uh, it's funny how at the beginning of this coronavirus shit they were saying dogs and tigers had coronavirus. <laughs> yeah, dog and tiger. And at the end, it was the minks that they make t-shirts out of that had yeah, so coronavirus. You see it, that every animal can carry this fucking disease now. But it's amazing how the solution was just to kill them all. No. Hmm. And not, uh... Like not it, even try... To not even see. try to see where the fuck it came from. Like, who... What... Did a human breathe onto the mink and gave it to the mink? Like, how did this mink end up with the COVID-19 if it's in six countries that are in no crossings with bats or pangolins? How would they get it? The worker. Like, you know what I mean? The New Year's Eve. <laughs> Chinese worker. Come yeah. Back and say, hey, mink. <laughs> and mink, like, wow. And then mink. <laughs> and after, because minks, right, cross each other. <laughs> Seven minutes. But that's terrible. That's terrible. That's terrible. Great way to continue the conversation. No, I just want to... That's can terrible. I say something about something? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Our order is new Brownslet called Wushu. <laughs> and uh, that's brands that give you wealth and healthy. But there's a lot of rules with this fucking thing. I didn't know that. Yesterday I was listening. You can't sleep with this in your bedroom. You can't because you're going to have nightmares and everything. Okay. And you're going to have like uh, some kind of different bad things going to happen to you. Mm. So what happened is this little dragon here, he have to be always away, facing like away, like your pinky. Mm -hmm. So uh, he take the wealth and connect to you. You have to pet him, say who is the master, you're the master. So he know to who connect. Uh, what else they say about this? Okay. Uh, oh, do not like dirt. You can put in the dirt. And do not... Uh, yeah, dirt. Don't put dirt on it? No, you can you, like dirt. You hate dirt. And, uh, yeah. And, yeah? The black uh, beans protect you. The dragon swirling wealth and give it to you. Mm -hmm. And it's called Vushu. Okay. And it's like a long time ago guy, something made this. And so many people say good things happen to them. And you can have for people under 16, and you can have the people over 70. Mm -hmm. Because something is not good. So something is not good, okay. What was wrong? You heard noises? Yeah, I hear something. Oh. So, even cat here, we both hear. Yeah. So, yeah, so this Vushu new thing, guys, buy it uh, on Amazon or whatever. Not big deal, 20 bucks. My was, I was waiting six weeks. Fucking came, find it. Hmm. So, yeah, so this is supposed to keep you healthy, wealthy. Healthy, wealthy, okay. Yeah, and then give you luck. Yeah. Well, speaking of luck, the Naval Academy in the United States has named their first black woman a uh, brigade leader. <laughs> wait, wait, whoa, whoa, stop the clock. What the name the woman is? What, in the Naval Academy? Yeah. 
they named their first ever black woman yeah. student to be a brigade leader. Brigade? Yeah, brigade leader. Brigade? Brigade leader. <laughs> what is brigade leader? Says here that the first black woman to assume the top role leading fellow students at the U.S. Naval Academy will take up that position next semester as brigade commander, the academy said on Monday. Jesus, is that her name? Midshipman. Midsh Midshipman. Oh, sorry, that's her rank. Midshipman, first class Sydney Barber will be the commander of the spring semester, according to the Well, there's news. like a boat semester? Yeah, like they're part of the Navy? military, Navy. Well, military is on the ground. Navy is in the water. That's it doesn't matter. I'm, that's what I'm asking. Make uh, ship. So yeah, in the I'm, middle of the ship, she yeah, is there. She's in the middle right now. Yeah. And now they're going to put ship now they're gonna commander. put her on top of the ship. Yeah, it's got to the both. Yeah, so she's going to be... I am captain now. She's like, look at me, I am the captain now. I have a chair. I say, he could do this to that. I'm the king of the castle, the king of the castle. I do this to that. Says here, Barbara will be the 16th woman selected. Barbara? Barber. That's her name? Yeah, Sydney Barber. Sydney Barber. Yeah. Oh, so what's Sydney. Wrong, what's wrong with that? Because you say Barber, yeah. I was saying Barbara. Because it's, it's written here, last name. Oh, Barbara. oh, yeah, yeah, but the Sydney's first name. Yeah. Sydney, I'm on! Yeah. All right, I'm going to make ship. Go over there. <laughs> yeah. You want some minks for fur? Or we, we have a lot of them, 17 mm -hmm. million, in the, in, in, the, in the fireplace right now. I've only in my life ever met one Sydney. Hmm, that's a good question. I, 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 don't, a I don't know any... Any other than just the one I know. That's it. I only know one. I met one Sydney <laughs> in Poland and she was from Australia. Oh. From like Sydney, Sydney. She's Sydney from and Sydney? She was from Sydney and, and her name was Sydney. Mm -hmm. I'm like, wow. But whoa. Yeah, the Sydney Very I... Very nice looking Sydney. Mm. The Sydney I know... Blonde. Her father was a teacher... And then he got arrested. No idea who her father was, my Sydney, but wow. But my Sydney, her father, was a teacher who Te got arrested for dealing child porn. So that's the my Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody have different hobbies. Yeah, your Sydney's from Sydney. But it was I remember? You said <laughs> that, okay, let's say uh, other uh, names. Uh, what What's the one you know most? Like how? Like who's like the most common one? With me, it's Alex. I think I know. I have a lot of people I know. Yeah, named you have Alex. a lot of Alex. Yeah. Me. Oh wow, this got quiet real fast. <laughs> I think Alex is for me up there as the most common. I'm blank. You're blank? I don't have so many. <laughs> You're the like, same a, I know Bougie Bougie. Uh, no, bougie but like, bougie. A, no, but the, like, I don't have a people who have. I always know people who have different names. They never repeat. Hmm. Like, I have a friends, or maybe one Peter, but uh, beside me and there's another Peter, no more Peter. No? No. So, like, uh, Tom, like, uh, Tony. Like uh, Saul, like mm -hmm. Howard, <laughs> yeah, all these people, the finale. <laughs> all these people have a like n normal name but never repeat. Dave, or maybe Dave's a lot of Dave's. You know a lot of Dave's, yeah. like a Dave or uh, Dave. Yeah, yeah, Dave. And Dave, and uh, Dave. Sam, yeah, Dave. Dave. Yeah. Dave, what I was working in Amazon. Yeah, Dave. Yeah, a lot of Dave's. Dave's. Yeah, DD. <laughs> it's but the uh, women names interesting. Okay. Uh, hot names like like uh, <laughs> Avon. That you're saying guys who are hot? Yeah. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> a hot girl names like Evan, Avon. No, Ivanka. <laughs> like Ivanka Trump. Trump, yeah? Ivanka. Yeah. That was a nice name. What else name was? <laughs> Barb? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know, fuck that name. <laughs> what names you like it? Like what what name will be make you like whoa? I don't care. <laughs> Madagascar. If there's a hole and I can fuck it, then oh, I don't care what you name it is. You're fucking crazy. You and your holes. Hmm. But like you could change your name at any time, like Bruce changed it to Caitlin. I know, but you know, so you could always end up with a different name later on. No, I like Peter. You could change it. You could be. I have a lot of names. It's like a Peter, Piot, yeah, Peter, Petter, Petter. Like you pet mix. Petter because it's German names. For <laughs> okay. The Peter is Petter. 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 Yeah, Petard. <laughs> <laughs> so it's in there. Piot. It's a Russian. Mm-hmm. And then Peter, Piel, Peter, Payot, Peter. Yeah. Wow, you're making yourself fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, I can't wake up. You like this gravel kicking. But it says here, Barber of Lake Forest, Illinois, is a mechanical engineering major and aspires to commission as a Marine Corps ground officer. As what she wants to do in the U.S., Navy as the first in the Navy. as the first black uh, leader, Sydney Barber. First, it's so she's black lead. The captain gonna be. I'm the captain now. Yeah, she's gonna. And the run guy's gonna the say ship. like this. That black thing over there is our captain. Yeah. Yeah, with the mink fur. Yeah. Yeah, she has a nice mink hat and <laughs> wooden shoes. Yeah, she ordered from Holland. Amazon oh. shipping for free. Yeah, Amazon's like mink products for free, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> You'll never get this. You'll never get this. Yes. Yeah. So what's going on in the country right now? We're we gonna have new vaccine. New vaccine, yeah. She's coming soon. To a uh, province near you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they say it's very difficult. You know what is the one problem with this vaccine? What's the, what did you hear? What's most of uh, Yesterday, I just remind myself, have to be minus 80 degrees. Yeah. They said it's right. a fucking, some fridges now have this, keep it so cool. So yeah. now they have to fucking figure out how to put a lot of air conditions in there. Yeah, so in yeah. Canada, where we are, they finally have a vaccine ready to go you to can be go distributed the... in Canada. Alaska. Sorry. And... Sorry, other countries that you couldn't uh, get a vaccine. Like in Africa, it would be don't possible to give a fucking vaccine. Sure. Even though Africa is like the main place where they test all the vaccines for all over the world. Yeah, but the, how are you going to do <laughs> a fucking minus 80? In Africa? No, that's what I'm saying. You have to have runaway pudding. Yeah, they have mountains. It's cold. Pretty sure Kilimanjaro is in Africa. Yes, Kilimanjaro is in Africa. Africa yeah. yeah, you go climb up there. Uh, 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 Imagine they made that. That's the qualification. You have to hike Kilimanjaro to get the vaccine in Africa. <laughs> Everybody, all black people on a mountain. Yeah. 70 million black people there. I'm pretty sure at the beginning... Was it the beginning of coronavirus or a different time? I remember there were... Different they, time. They were saying it was so many people hiking Mount Everest that there was like like people... It was like a lineup, like 300 people to every checkpoint. Yeah, because this problem with Mount Everest, <laughs> you can go on the sharp side or yeah. you can go on the... Like yeah, a flatter one. side. Yeah, and that's... Everybody try made it. But the Mount Everest is like 3,400 meters. Mm -hmm. That's it, yeah? I don't know. Hey, uh, Google, how tall is uh, Mount Everest? Mount Everest is about 8,848 meters high. Oh, I was mistaken, 4,000 meters. 8,000 8, meters, yeah. That's a lot of feet. That is a lot of feet. Yeah, and elbows. And toes. Whatever you're counting in your country. But the 8,000, that's... That's already, you need like a, you can die if you go too quickly to 8,000 feet. Yeah. 
you jump if you're playing, usually it's 10,000, and mm -hmm. you jump when it's 8,000. No, I think so. It's like I have been 6,000, and you have to pull out the I have been 8,000 feet in the air. Where did you go for that? 8,000 feet in Colorado. With what? What do you mean? The fucking, you, you drive straight up for fucking three hours. It's a mountain. Like, like Denver. Up? Yeah. Denver, you're a mile high. And then we went to Colorado Springs. Yeah. There's a place called Seven. Heaven. No, it's Seven Falls. Eleven. <laughs> seven Falls or something. It's seven Falls, I'm pretty sure. And then you went and, 8,000 feet? And then feet? we had to climb a staircase. No, they actually had an elevator in the mountain, which was nice. That's literally... They built an elevator in this mountain. For flat people. It takes you to the lookout, and you're like roughly 8,000 feet. And it was no different than air inside? No, because I've been there before, so... Oh. And I was in Aspen, which is probably even higher. It's probably like 10,000 feet, and my eye exploded. Why? Because I was tired. Why the eye exploded? But, like, a blood vessel popped in my eye. Oh. I think because of the... Because I was tired, and on top of that, because of... I think because of the altitude, pretty sure... I don't know. We guys Google how high Aspen is. Aspen, Colorado. Hey, Google how high is Aspen. <laughs> she did not hear you. Hey, Google. How high is Aspen, Colorado? The elevation of Aspen is 2,438 meters. So I was 2,480 meters. So you're telling me if I can... Mount Everest, 8,000 meters. So you didn't go there. So high. Yeah, because you were saying 8,000 feet, not meters. <laughs> and I said I was 8,000 feet. That oh. was what the conversation started. Oh, because I said Mount Everest is 8,000 meters. Did your brain meters. shut down halfway no, through like the conversation? No, but you said you was 8,000 meters. Feet. Because you said feet. Okay. You so said 8,000 feet. Three feet in one meter. So yeah. It's, uh, it's, uh, we have to divide your... What are we dividing? <laughs> I hate him. I basically give you two. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So you was 8,000 feet. Yeah. So that's like I would be say I was 1,000 feet and I have elevation problem. You had elevation problems at 1,000 feet? Because what happened is uh, in my situation, I pressed the button and the elevator didn't show up. <laughs> oh. And I say, where is the elevator? In Africa, they have it. We have in Niagara Falls elevators. Yeah, we have elevators. Like they're going like... We have a bunch of different elevators. Like when we did that boardwalk, the fancy one in Niagara Falls, mm -hmm. the white water walk. With Tia? Yeah, you take a normal elevator down. Interesting. When you do... I'm pretty sure when you do Journey Behind the Falls, there's an elevator for that too. What? There's probably more elevators in Niagara Falls than most hotels <laughs> in Niagara Falls. No, a lot of hotels in Niagara Falls. I think there's more in your elevator. No, I already named two. What, elevators? Like actual elevators in the So falls. you have two elevators. Yeah. You know how many hotels is there? Yeah. No, hey, go, I'm go. talking about what... You're not listening to me. What? It's like, it's like I'm talking to a fucking wall. I didn't say total of elevators. I said, normal hotels have like two to three elevators, and I'm trying to compare Niagara Falls to a single hotel, where it has two to three elevators as well. Oh, that's what you say. I was yeah, thinking... I'm not saying count every single fucking elevator in every building. No, I was completely... <laughs> no, you don't understand what I'm saying. I was completely thinking, just elevators, <laughs> not in the hotels. Like, you know... Yeah, I was counting. No, was... no, no, no. no. No, I say this elevator school is just walking in and just take you over there, but it's not to touch any hotel. It's like going on a, on a slide. I know, but that's not what I'm talking about. Yeah, but I was thinking we say, and I'm saying, no way, it's more hotels. I was thinking hotels, this building, is more hotels in Niagara Falls. It is this elevators without hotels. Yeah, and I'm trying to say that <laughs> yeah, Niagara but... Falls physically, yeah. the fucking ditch with the waterfall, yeah. <laughs> has more elevators in it than probably most hotels in Niagara Falls, the city. 
Whoa, whoa, stop, stop. <laughs> you're backing up to this. Look, what are you saying? Yeah, what I'm saying makes perfect sense. Yeah, what well, you're saying, the Niagara Falls have so many elevators. Yeah, the physical waterfall. Yeah, physical. The ditch, yes. you know, with the yeah. river. Okay, slowly, slowly. Okay, yeah. so what now? Has a bunch of elevators built into the fucking mountain. Yeah, so you can go, go down. down. Yeah. Has more elevators than any hotel you walk into in Niagara Falls. So the ditch have more elevators than one single hotel? Yes. Yeah, Renaissance have three... Uh, <laughs> like... Three elevators. Yeah, and I bet you you can find but, four elevators But you know Niagara what is Falls. funny stuff? What? Uh, you only on one side you can go only to 20 floor. Okay. This is 20 floors? Well, let's say 14 floors. Yeah. And on the other side, you're going from 14 up. Yes, I've only this I've only seen that in Las Vegas when right. I was in Luxor. And our Renaissance have like that. When I was in Luxor in yeah. Vegas, one have only to fourteen. Yeah, and other side have from fourteen up. Yeah, so in Luxor because it's a pyramid. Yeah, it's all different elevators because you can't make elevators go like this. They yeah, have to go yeah, up go and down. Yeah, yeah. So my elevator because my room was on the third floor, so I was on the elevator right at the end. And it only went four stories, that elevator. That's it. And then if you go more in the middle, it goes like ten stories. Or you can go over there around and go to next elevator, which going up. Yeah, they all go up. Yeah, but like, <laughs> like in Renaissance, you can go yeah. uh -huh. around. Okay. And then that elevator going up, you're going to stop on 14 and going up more with more people if you want. Mm-hmm. That's a very interesting uh, who design, I guess. Who design what? Yeah, and then you have like even... And you have the cargo elevators too. Yeah. Like, you know, for food or the waitress or something delivery. Mm-hmm. Hmm, interesting. The elevators everywhere. Yeah. It's crazy, huh? And the, the best elevators are with shafts. Okay. Somewhere in Dubai, they have this uh, pressure shafts. Mm hmm. Okay. Which is like tube. Tube. Okay. Tube. Folding tube. How they fucking did this? And this elevator going like fucking 200 kilometers an hour. Mm hmm. So when you're going to like the. F you're going like this in the fucking. You know. To the 33 floor or 50. Oh, did you hear in Niagara Falls they built eight? No, in Toronto. They built a tower 83 four stories right now. They started. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you're gonna look on the CN Tower from this tower down. Yeah. It's unbelievable. 84. Hey, Google. What the. How high is new tower in Toronto gonna be? 1,027 feet tall. According to the Architects newspaper, Hariri Pontarini Architects has revealed what's said to become Canada's tallest residential tower at just over 1,027 feet tall. That's a fucking big residential tower, Jesus Christ. 2,000? Yeah, and people are going to live in it. Yeah, that's fucking high. Yeah. 84? 84 story? Like, 84. Yeah. That's fucking ridiculous, though. Well, you know what else is crazy that happened in Toronto? Yeah. Remember the Toronto van attack? Yeah, the guy who women didn't like it. The incel killer, as they called him. Yeah, because... He... Pleads not criminally responsible. Yeah, because he was, like, crying. Nobody would date him. And he was actually attacking with this van all women. Yes. But he ran some transvestite. Yeah, so it says here a Canadian man who killed 10 people yeah. by plowing a van yeah. into pedestrians in Toronto has pled not criminally responsible at the start of his trial. Okay, just shoot him. The guy faces 10 charges of murder and 16 counts of attempted How many murder. people died that day? 10. Oh my god. He ran over 10 people. Have we wasted time on this guy? I'm not saying his name. I'm just saying this. No, is... no, but I'm saying oh, we, they, they no. wasting time for him, and he said he say I'm not guilty. 
I mean, I'm not uh, responsible for this. Just fucking throw him to the, you know, pit with the fucking... Snapping turtles. With, mm, no, piranhas. with the minks who yeah. they're gonna be uh, cooking later. Cooking, oh. Yeah. Uh, Fuck this shit. So it says here the 28-year-old has been linked to the... He was 28? Yeah, he's 28 years old. Oh my god, what a fucking stupid shit. Okay. Waste of time, uh, life. And he killed so much life too. Yeah. <sighs> If Paris might be dead. Canada. I see how I remember how this cop he was pretending he's shooting cop with his hand. Yeah. And the cop said To who? What is this a kid doing this? I'm so confused. No, the guy came out from van. Oh. And the cop said, get down and he said, Shoot me, shoot me. He like this, shoot me. Yeah. And the cop didn't shoot him. They just fucking tackle him and put him in the car. Because he wasn't... Yeah, in Canada, in States, you will be probably have a 68 <laughs> nine bullets inside. Yeah. It says here, the 28-year-old has been linked to misogynist incel movement, a mostly online group of young men who blame their lack of sexual activity on women. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He was mad because he can't have the girlfriend. Women didn't fuck. Yeah, that's what's going on. This Start guy going to your brain, and you fucking going on the side with driving van. Yeah, this guy was he's... sitting at home, and he's like, "How am I gonna fix my problem of having sex with women?" <laughs> no, he was mad on women. Yeah, he said, "That's it." You know, but they the... don't want to sex with me. I run them off. But it's stupid if you're not getting sex from women and he wants sex, why wouldn't you try guys? Why wouldn't you try transsexuals? Why? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why you think like this run away? Because... No, 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 no. That's specific to you. No. Yes. Why you want to try guys? Why you not thinking you can order an escort service and have women first? Why you run away have to jump to the guy? Because I'm looking for free solutions. Yeah, free solution? Yeah. Why, you think a guy gonna go for free with you? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> How you if know this that? this dude found a gay dude in Toronto, which But he's a not lot gay, gay, he want a woman. Yeah, but you don't know. <laughs> yeah, you know. Clearly he, he doesn't know. He killed the kid. Women. The fucking guy No, runs, he was running on the women. The guy runs over people with a van thing and no, that's going to fix the problem. He's running on every woman. He said he want to kill all women on this the This says side. here he just killed 10 people. Yeah. Eight women. Sure. Yeah, that's what he said. Or whoever was on the fucking sidewalk. No, he was targeting just women. He said that. Uh-huh. I hear yeah, the story. Yeah, because he blames women. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Why do but you he think can find, he can go to the guys? Because he can find those. They if. But he know we, like we live in a new world where no, there's. No, but this guy was hurt because he can't have a woman. Yeah, but what if Caitlyn but Jenner came come, up to him and no, was like, "Let's he fuck." No, he started running another way. Why? Other way, he, running but gay. He, but he's getting what he wanted, which was a woman to fuck him. No, it's not woman. It is though. No, it's fucking That's some kind saying. of bullshit beef steak. That's fucking. what I'm saying. What are you saying? I'm saying there's no excuse for him yeah, go. to go murder people. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He <laughs> and he pled not guilty. I should open it. That's what's fucked I, up. I was open hotline for the people who can't make it with goods. You I, can't even speak for one hour here. How are you going to speak to people on the phone? I'm going to say, listen, <laughs> waiting. <laughs> hey, what's up? Well, you can't make it with the women? I don't know why. Hey, I have a solution for you from my uh, close friend. Yeah. What about gays? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. No. Ah! Hey, who, uh, hey, hello. He just jumped through the fucking ten story building. Like you know what I mean? They even built in Toronto. I'm trying to talk. Hello, hello. hello. Just, uh, I know that's rude to snap my fingers, but I'm trying to yeah, talk to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keep talking. But. I have to send them a message. Fucking 10 minutes we have left. You oh. can't fucking wait 10 minutes? Okay. <laughs> like, fuck. Okay. It's an emergency? You have to respond on the spot? I have to know something. Holy fuck. What do you have to know? China? How many minks it takes to make a sweater? <laughs> so, this man... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, what? This mink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
So it says here that he has am admitted the 2018 attack. Uh, he is not mentally fit to be held criminally responsible for this act that he did. The incel killer. This guy, crazy blaming women. You know, even though they built a literally a sex doll brothel in Toronto and you could have went and fucked a sex doll even. This guy, it was from Toronto. No, he blames women for not fucking. That makes no... It's crazy. That's what I'm saying. He was so mad. He have a women issue. He don't care gays. He no one gays. Then he should have went on back pages or hookers and shit. That's what I'm saying, but why you run away? You jumping to your fucking gay. Because it's fucking funny. It's because not funny it's not, for me. It's not I a hate normal, gays. No, it's not I, a normal idea. Yeah. Even though it is normal. What is normal? Gay people. Gay with gays. But if the guy don't like gays, that's what happens is he have hatreds for the women, but he's not gay. That's why he's supposed that's to... That's why he's so fucked in the no, head. No, that's supposed to... For these people should be special line. Okay. And they have a special hookers for these people. Special hookers? Yeah, it's okay. like you can apply. Yeah. What, because they're going to make tests for you. And they're going to say, okay, you can have girlfriend. I don't know why I can't have a... I need sex. What did you do to women if you... You mad on them. I run the van, I gonna run, run them, over. them over. And then you stop him okay. and say, Don't worry, we have a special plan for this kind of people. Yeah, this and is what they did. The hookers. The hookers lined up and, like and you go. And their assholes lined up like tunnels and they're like this. We buy you a nice condom to it looks like a van. And yeah. now you can smash your van <laughs> yes. into these holes. Yes. And fuck. Yes. And then he goes, yes, Captain. Yes, Captain. Yes, Captain Sidney Barber, right away, ma'am. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and you didn't get that joke either. Because that's the woman we just talked about who's the leader of the first yeah, black like Barbie, woman Barbie, leader. Barbie, Barbie yeah, Barbie. like giving a command. Yeah, like, fuck. I'm the captain now. Yeah. I'm in the middle of the ship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, midship. Fucking, we should, we stood. Yeah, we stood. We, we, <laughs> other boat, we have to shoot something. <laughs> Say, load with minks. Yeah. <laughs> 70 million. Shoot the Chinese <laughs> ship. <laughs> with minks. Yeah. <laughs> Coronavirus back to you. <laughs> yeah. But it says here that his mother has said he has As Asperger syndrome, a type of autism that can make it difficult to understand nonverbal social cues. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of stupid. There's literally a show on Netflix where they show people with Asperger's still able to go find pussy the fuck. No problem. Love on the spectrum. Yeah. Literally a whole TV show about this guy. People like him. No problem going out in the world and finding pussy. Yeah. This guy was like, fuck this. I'm running bitches over with a van. Yeah, but see, he had no <laughs> knowledge. You have to be... A, what do you mean, 2018? Yeah, you yeah, have yeah, literally yeah, yeah, yeah. so much information. Yeah, yeah, but you information. should call... You should call... I say more money, no more work. But that is money. <laughs> more you work, more money you no, make. No, no. Less work, more money. Uh -huh. Take it easy. Sure. Shoo, 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 shoo. Yeah. So anyway, so... Guy should call like 1-800... Pussy. I, yeah, 1 800 pussy. <laughs> Hello, 1 800 pussy. <laughs> what is pussy? Ah, what yeah. your authorization? Send the pussy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> pussy number one. <laughs> Go to the retard who hate women. How I find him? The white van is parked by the house. <laughs> Go ahead. So then the pussy gonna fucking and he gonna be your customer, and we know charge yeah. for this special people. We they get discount. <laughs> yeah, we, we have to give them something for free on the beginning. No, you know what? You know what? The government should do healthcare system for people like that. Yeah, yeah. Now I know what they should do. 
It should be under, like, you know how they invest in money and mental health problems? They should consider that a mental health problem, like an addiction problem, yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. you're, like, you're needing and addicted to love and sex. Oh. So the government should have a fund uh-huh. where you could take, like, a <laughs> sex leave. Yeah. You go to some place, building, like, a rehab, but with hookers uh-huh. for two weeks. To let your sex out. That's what I'm saying. And then you go back. And then you learn something from that experience. You learn how to communicate with new people that you've never met before. Or... You learn how to no, control your no, urges. Get, if you're poor and you have you no know, money... Like a rehab. And no, the government no. covers it. I know. It's a mental but health. But if you go even like to... You have no money... Yeah. That's then they're going to take away from employment. No, but I'm saying... That's what... You, yeah, like unemployment. Type They're gonna of thing. give you. They but, pay for you. But the government 50%. sends you there. Like, if you could prove that you're like craving it so much, it should be like a rehab covered by the government for mental health, for a sex addiction. <laughs> <laughs> My God, this guy! I can't hold this guy anymore. <laughs> My car comments fucking falling from my ears. <laughs> I have a bad. Uh... I have a bad... What do you call? I have a bad... And he's filled with coronavirus. No, I have the bad fucking... What do you call this? Uh, ideas. <laughs> I see vans. People with the sidewalks. Government. Okay, okay. Take it easy. Yeah, hold your horse. Yeah. Have a mink. <laughs> fucking call to this lady. Yeah. The barber on the mentorship. And she's going to send you to the No, fucking... her name is Barbara. She's not an actual hairdresser. Sydney. Sydney Barbara. S- Sydney Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> so captain, command. captain now, <laughs> and then we're gonna give you fifty percent. No, I don't have money. Okay, fucking eighty percent. No, I don't. Okay, fucking hundred percent hooker for free today. Go. Yeah. Which one? The biggest pussy. Yeah, it's like how they have. Uh, I don't know what co- I forget what country, but they have like free heroin clinics to give people heroin. Yeah, so you have free fucking so pussy. So free pussy if you're hooked yeah. on pussy. Ima- and they can make- no no wait a second because that's gonna be hilarious right now. Okay. How are you gonna call this occupation? You're working for this government. Yeah, you're and you a give government- pussy for free. Yeah, you're like a government pussy worker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you have to be man, a woman. Can't- man, woman? No, 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 no. Stop shit. <laughs> so that's gonna be just pussies. no. What they do is it's like uh, they make like a fake. They can make it like a fuck me silly. You ever see what a fuck me silly is? Sex toy? You and your fucking toy. <laughs> yeah. Educate me. Okay, so the fuck me silly sex toy. It's like a flashlight. It's, or something. it's like a, a wall. flashlight, but it's a whole ass. Yes. With a pussy yeah. and an asshole. Okay. And you could sit it perfectly like on a table. <laughs> <laughs> you could sit it perfectly like on a couch. And it's like you fucking a girl doggy style from behind. Anywhere you want. So basically you fucking couch. Look, yeah, but they, you have just half but they can make thing. like a room with a bunch of fuck me sillies. Yeah, but that's still... Like booths. No, no, you need the real one. Who talk to you. Yeah, they can play a video. Or no, what Whack the- your cock. <laughs> that doesn't sound fun. <laughs> what, what, yeah, what? punch my dick. <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's gonna help cure my Asperger's. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But it says here the trial is being held by video conference before a judge only, not a jury, and is expected to last about four weeks. It was supposed to start early this year, but p- postponed because of the coronavirus pandemic. So the trial is being live streamed, and. The accused will appear from prison. Mm-hmm. So the guy is live streaming his <laughs> his uh, incel attack mm-hmm. from prison to the judge. Mm-hmm. Which is wild. And they still have uh, some kind of memorial for these people that were killed in 2018. It was April 23rd, 2018. Mm-hmm. Mowed down prote- uh, pedestrians. Who ranged from the age of 22 to 94 years old was the oldest person. Imagine that. You live 94 years. 
you're walking down the sidewalk, beautiful day in Toronto, and that's the day Mr. Asperger's decided to run you over with a van. And that's how you went out. I know. People don't understand. Life is too short. I always repeat this. You can't fuck around with... You don't stop occupied. What are you doing in this? Slow down. Stop. And think about it. The time is clicking. And, <laughs> and it's fucking soon gonna be over. And you're wasting time on fucking crying about pussy. Like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> I, if I would be cop, I would put him over there and run him with his van. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. And that's it. And this guy even posted on Facebook minutes before his attack, the incel rebellion has already begun. Like, it's a fucking Star Wars movie. <laughs> Stupid people. Like, yeah. And this is why the government is spending millions of dollars for mental health, because they realize all these Canadian people are bored and crazy and fucking psycho. He, but that, he was orgi- that's our show. But that's original. He wasn't from Can- like Canadian born. Yeah, he's from Toronto. Twenty years old. He fucking ran over people uh, because no, he was, he was looking side. like a Paki or something. It doesn't matter what he looks like. He's from Canada. No, Paki, lives I mean, in Canada. Like Armenian or something like that. Sure, whatever. But yeah, yeah. it's Canadian. All right, so fucking we wasted fucking another uh, episode yeah. on the fucking idiots <laughs> from fucking who can't get pussy. Yeah. Then we've learned fucking the ferrets fucking world going down. <laughs> minus 70 billion fucking ferrets. <laughs> then we learned fucking wooden shoes. Fucking yeah. in bicycles. <laughs> what they was doing over there in the Holland? The... Oh, the Minx shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then we learned what was in the beginning? That's... Joe Biden is fucking president. Yeah, but everyone knows that. Yeah, but what was after? Minx? Minx, yeah. What was after Minx was? Was something. Yeah, and then it was fucking Guy and We talked about... No, we talked about Minx. Oh, my Wushu fucking We talked about Sidney Barber being the first black Yeah, fucking made of the shift, yeah. Yeah, we talked about the bullshit. And how this really happened. How the... the, We're running out of time. We have to end... Yeah, we have to end the show. Okay, bye, everybody. Bye. Stay safe.